Yeah. By the way, you want to talk about slow as molasses? Do you remember the Detroit Lion quarterback, Scott Mitchell? Yes. So Scott Mitchell, by the way, Scott Mitchell made a bunch of money. Uh, I'm not saying uh, more money than you. Um, not the greatest quarterback, but he had, was an NFL quarterback. Right, he was. Well, you know, a lot of athletes talk about that when they're finally done playing sports. Michael Jordan references this all the time. That he can't wait to become, you know, an old man with a belly. You know, because you spent all that time working out in the gym. You know, the said that? Nobody ever said Michael that. Michael Jordan said He goes, I can't Michael wait Jordan to be an old guy that. with a belly. That's what he said. I don't know why he said it, but that's what he said. So Scott Mitchell agrees with that sentiment that now that his playing career is over, it'd be nice to just, you know, Grow old let get, it go. Get big. Get big. So Scott Mitchell decided to start eating. What Everything. <laughs> what do you eat, Barry Sanders? He, <laughs> Scott Mitchell is now 366 pounds. Nice. Fought wild. Yeah, but he was a big guy anyway. He was always a big guy. Dude, 366. He's, he's a donut and a burger from 400. So what's he going to end up doing now? He uh, entered himself and was accepted to be a contestant <laughs> along with another NFL player. On the biggest loser. Nice. Now, the other NFL player, you can understand this guy getting to the point he got to based on the position he played. You remember Damian Woody? Of course, the Jet and the Patriot. Of course, he also does the NFL Network, I believe, or maybe ESPN, one of those. Oh, is that right? Yeah, sure. I don't know. Well, so Damian Woody is now pushing uh, near 400 pounds. He's 388. Now, Damian Woody played at about 320. So he's put on 60 pounds since he retired. He's not the biggest loser. Here's the problem. With, I have a problem with it. Well, here's the problem with a couple of these guys. Like, you ever see guys that, you know, became really big, and then all of a sudden they get really small? Uh, I mean, the aggressive oh, yeah, weight like loss. Al Roker, Al Roker. Yes. I think Al Sharpton's yeah, one of those they guys. Yeah, good. The head looks like it doesn't belong on yeah, the body anymore. Like a pygmy. Or something. It looks like one of those. Like uh, a shrunken head. Like when you get yeah. one of them, uh, like when you're reading National Geographic. It's like the reverse of a historical Juice. magazine. And they show the shrunken heads of like yeah, uh, Those warriors. aren't shrunken heads. Those are, these heads look too big. No, no, no. I mean, it just doesn't look right. I guess. I don't know what I'm, I mean, it's the, like, it's the opposite of Beetlejuice. Yes. I see. I think I was going with the Beetlejuice way. I thought a small little head no, I'm saying these, on the, the big neck. The, the, you go the, the other way. So what? I, so I don't know about Damien. What you think the he, head's too big for Damian the body? Damien Woody looks like he has like a size eight and a half, nine head. A big head. So you're not going to lose. He might lose some jowls. Yeah, you know what else happens with this aggressive weight loss? What happens? I've seen some pictures on the see, internet. Guys, guys like Damien Woody and Scott Mitchell got to be careful about diabetes. Diabetes, you know, I, I mean, I this is what you're the, talking right. about. You, you, you've got to get yourself in shape, and you've got to lose weight. And, you know, if you want to be around for your family, you got to take care of yourself. So I think it's a good thing that they're doing this.